Welcome into CBS Sports HQ. The 134th battle for Paul Bunyan's axe has gone Minnesota's way. As they're winners today over Wisconsin in Madison by a score of 24 to 7. It's the second time in a row that Minnesota has won the axe in Madison. That's the first time that's happened since 84 and 86 between that span and a good day for Max Brosmer. A couple touchdown passes today. Uh, not a great day for Wisconsin because they do see their 22 season bowl streak come to an end. And of note here, the road team has won the last three meetings between the two. And let's go out to Madison by welcoming in R.J. Feely, who was on the call today for this game. Uh, Jay, obviously a uh, good win for Minnesota, but disappointment for Wisconsin here. Uh, let's just start with the game itself. What was the difference in this game today for you? The difference in this game was Minnesota was able to run the ball with Darius Taylor, and Wisconsin was not able to run the ball at all. 36 yards total rushing for the Wisconsin Badgers, average at 165 a game. They knew they would have to be able to run the ball to win this game. They couldn't do it. When you only average one and a half yards per carry, I mean, this Minnesota defense was swarming. They got after the ball. They didn't allow them to run, get the run game going, and then that caused an inability to throw the ball down the field as well. They only had 130 yards through the air, so just a stifling performance for this Minnesota defense. For this Wisconsin team, obviously, I mean, they lose. They end the season uh, five losses in a row. I think it is missing out on the bowl uh, for the first time in 22 seasons. When you look at this Wisconsin team, this program under Luke Fickle, his second season, where are they at for you right now? Well, they're at a crossroads. That's where they're at. Luke Fickle now is at 500 for his two years at Wisconsin. Not good enough for this program that has been one of the better teams. You, you look back 20 years, Wisconsin has more wins than Michigan, more wins than Penn State, more wins than Notre Dame, which is just surprising. So they have a high standard, and it hasn't been good enough in those two years, and it, it starts at the offensive coordinator position. They fired Phil Longo, which to me wasn't really a good fit. You know, you bring the air raid in to Wisconsin, you're trying to spread it out and run into favorable boxes. It wasn't a fit. They have to get back to who they are. They're a physical team that has a great offensive line that runs the balls and wears you down and hits play action shots. That's who you want to be. That's who you can recruit. You have to know who you are and go out and get those players that you can get and then build a system around the strengths of the players that you can go out and recruit and get. And so I think there's going to be a lot of thought and a lot of discussions for Luke Fickle and his staff, how to move forward, how to get better, and how to get this Wisconsin program back where they've, they've been the last 20 years. CBS Sports college football analyst and play-by-play -play commentator Jay Feely joining us from Madison, Wisconsin, helping us recap Minnesota's win over the Badgers today in the 134th battle for Paul Bunyan's Axe. It was the coldest game between the two since 1951, 22 degrees Fahrenheit at kickoff. But it is one of the most storied rivalries in all of college football. This today, the 134th meeting. All right, we're going to take a break here on CBS Sports HQ. But when we come back, we'll have highlights of the battle for Paul Bunyan's axe as Minnesota claim a road victory for just the second time in Madison in this game since the mid-80s. That and plenty more coming up.